What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. No, you did not well, unbelievably read the title incorrectly. I have ordered a Porsche Cayman 718 GT4 uh, and it's all a little bit mad. <laughs> Apologies uh, in advance if there's a little bit of an echo. Um, I am in a completely glass and tiled room, so um, hopefully the mics are doing an okay job at filtering that out. Uh, but for those of you who are existing viewers of the channel, existing subscribers, you'll know that I had ordered a 718 GTS. Um, I will put a link somewhere up to that video where I talk about spec and what I'd ordered. Um, GT4 was always what I wanted. <laughs> ultimately, but I never thought it was possible. For those of you that watch any YouTube videos, you'll know people will talk all the time about how difficult Porsche allocations are, um, and that you can't just typically walk into a dealership, even with a whole bag of cash and say, I want a GT4, because it's just not how it works. Um, so a absolutely massive, massive thank you has to go to Tristan, uh, who is a Porsche pro here at uh, Porsche Colchester. Um, which is where I'm standing right now, who's very kindly organised uh, the review of this today. Wanted to make sure I had a car uh, so I could film kind of like an announcement, an update on uh, my Porsche journey. But yeah, massive, massive thank you goes to Tristan. Um, oh, it wouldn't have been possible without him. He'd, uh, he'd made it happen, he fought for my case. And yeah, unbelievably, I've been given an allocation for a car, <laughs> which I can't even believe uh, I'm saying. It's a complete and utter dream car for me. Uh, never thought it was possible. It was mad even to be ordering the GTS, right? But to be ordering uh, a GT4 now as well is just, well, it's not as well, but instead is, is just a dream. So humongous thank you to Porsche Colchester uh, and Tristan. So it brings me on to this uh, particular car, which actually is for sale. This could be yours if you like it. Um, very, very classy spec in the solid black color that Porsche do with the satin Orem wheels, red calipers all important buckets, which I'll overlay now, which are absolutely beautiful. And yeah, we'll do a quick walk around, show you some individual features, and, um, and then we'll get out and go and drive in it. All right, so as I mentioned, this car is finished in a solid black with the satin Aurum wheels, which would I have spec this initially myself? No, but actually in person, looks incredible. Looks very, very classy with those red calipers shining through there, and then you can pick up on the red GT4 stitching in the headrest and on the seat belts. This car is a manual car. Um, I personally have gone for PDK. We're gonna do a full uh, spec session in another video with Tristan. We're gonna go through the configurator and show you exactly what I'm thinking for my car. Um, but yeah, as, as specs go, this is, this is pretty classy. I love the matte Porsche stickers on the wing. Yeah, a lovely 4.0 on the side. It's, it's lovely and like every, you can't go wrong with this car. Every angle looks absolutely unbelievable. We'll come around the side and undo the car. Everything is finished so nicely. I mean, talk about race car. We've got rid of the door handles and we just have these pulleys instead to open the door. You can hear, you might be able to hear it ting uh, as you pull on those to undo the door, which is very, very cool. But all the armrest, all the door card is laddened with Alcantara. As I mentioned, this car is a manual car. I've gone for PDK, um, but it's super, super clean on the steering wheel, no buttons, very race focused, minimal distractions, and it's just amazing. I've driven this car once before. Uh, I just wanted to drive one before my actual order went in, just in case for some wild chance of events, I didn't like it. <laughs> it's safe to say that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just beautiful. And as I mentioned, I mean, this is a complete and utter dream come true for me. Like I, I'm sure the guys down here are sick of me by now, but I just can't say thank you enough to them. Um, like I said, GT4 has always been the dream car. I just absolutely love how these look. It is the Porsche that I would want. Every time I see one lined up, even against like a GT3 RS or whatever, like this for me 
has always looked the prettiest. Um, and for performance, and I want to start getting into track, track car driving, track day driving rather. Um, I mean, I don't think there's anything much better really. It's, um, it's a big step up, but really kind of think of it as like a once in a lifetime thing. So literally when Tristan emailed me and said, good news, Jim, we're gonna offer you a slot. I actually fell off my chair and had a, a dance around the living room. <laughs> Not even gonna try and hide it or lie that I wasn't uh, falling over myself. But yeah, it's just absolutely incredible. Dream car. I'm gonna try to keep it more emotive today. Like this is a very emotional thing for me. Um, and so there are hundreds of videos on YouTube that talk about tech specs on these and performance. Key factor to bear in mind is the fact that this is 20 horsepower more than the standard GTS, but largely it's the same, same engine, same gearbox. Uh, I think the exhaust is ever so slightly different, ever so slightly louder. But that is about it. It is a mental, mental car. I think there's enough talking about it. I can't, I, I'm too impatient anyway, I want to get out and drive it, so yeah, let's jump in, let's go. to really extract what you want out of the car. So 